About a year ago, forestry experts cautioned Ghana's natural forests may run the risk of depletion in the next 10 to 20 years. Experts warn if care is not taken, the country will have to import timber for construction. According to the Ghana Forest Investment Program, the country loses 2% of her forest cover annually. This translates into about 700,000 hectares. Then came last year's announcement by the Domestic Lumber Traders Association to import timber from Liberia to save the local industry. Professor Kesi blames continuous depletion of Ghana's forest reserves on unsustainable management of resources. Forest resources are renewable, but they need time to regenerate. It may take 30, 50 years for a tree to grow, but it can only take a day to cut it down. So what has been accumulating for a number of years can be destroyed in a matter of a minute. So what we need to do is to make sure that we match growth and extraction. Growth and extraction. You just take away what has been realized as growth. Ghana has not managed its forests in a sustainable way. And uh, the importation is only a short-term measure. I think the most long-term measure is to have a situation whereby you now plan you have good plans for managing or establishing forests from within which can match with the population that you have and make sure that your level of utilization does not exist what you can use. Importing is just a short-term measure because even where you are importing, they have got their own thresholds. Professor John has some prescription for Ghana. People are switching from using, let's say, wood for construction purposes. They are using metal instead of wood and that lowers the demand of lumber and the other products. So there are issues of exploring the alternatives instead of just depending on, on one product. But the demand for lumber will always be there. So you need to see how you balance between the different alternatives that exist. Uh, I'm talking about Tanzania mm -hmm. in particular. What mm -hmm. are exactly are you doing here differently to sustain your forest? Yes, first of all, we have a very, very elaborate policy that talks of how we can involve communities in management of forests. You know, I told you from the beginning that the greatest pressure on the forest resources comes from the communities that surround the forest. So if you have a policy that gives you room to involve the communities in the management of the forest, then you are likely to be able to manage the pressure that is exerted on the forest. That's what we have as number one in our policy. We have mechanism for allowing communities to participate in forest management. Secondly, we have a law, Forest Act, which is very much supportive of the policy, which backs up the, the policy that has been established. We have a national program that supports the policy and makes sure that whatever is set aside as conserved forest remains as conserved forest. What is set aside as plantation forest for production, productive purposes and for utilization is used seriously on that one. The rate of deforestation in Ghana is estimated to be one of the highest in the world after Togo and Nigeria. An estimated annual rate of 2% loss equivalent to 135,000 hectares per year requires action to address. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reporting.